Hello everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be taking up a projectile motion problem. So in the problem, we have two plates A, B and C, D that are rigidly attached perpendicular to the base of a massive box. Okay, so this is the box that you're talking about. It is released on an inclined plane uh, at, with an inclined angle of 37 degrees. And we have to find the minimum speed with, so there is somebody who's standing inside the box and we need to find the velocity with which this guy has to throw a ball with respect to the box such that it basically graces point A and point C of these two plates. So give this problem a try guys and then you can check out the solution. Okay guys, so uh, as the incline is smooth, we know that the box is going to accelerate downhill with an acceleration of G sin alpha, where alpha is the incline angle. So if we rotate this entire arrangement by an angle of alpha so that we can consider the incline as the horizontal then basically the acceleration in this direction is g sin alpha okay so this is how the arrangement is looking like now guys as the entire game is happening within this box we can simply take the box as our frame of reference so we can simply forget about this g sin alpha okay so now this is like a universe where the effective gravity is g cos alpha okay guys so now the uh, problem is that this guy wants to throw a projectile and he wants to throw it in such a way that the velocity of projection is minimum but under the condition that the ball graces the, these two walls so let's say the guy projected uh, the ball with a velocity of u then the speed of the particle at point a i can write it as u square minus 2g let's call the um, height of this first plate as a so this is going to be va equals u square minus 2g and this is due to energy conservation right now let's say if this is plate 1 and this is plate 2 and if I join these two plates and let's say this this length is C now this is simply an inclined projectile whose range is C at this particular point uh, the speed is going to be VA now guys in this case if the velocity of projection at this particular point u is minimum then va will also be minimum at this particular point right because va directly depends on u now guys if i want to ensure that with the minimum effort i have to cover a range of c then c has to be the maximum range for this projectile motion because let's say if the maximum range was more than c then the thing is the projectile has the potential to cover a distance more than c we don't want that right we want this to be the minimum effort case and for that c has to be equal to the maximum range for this projectile motion and the maximum range formula for an uphill projectile is actually the speed squared divided by g of 1 plus sine alpha where alpha is the angle of the incline so this is a standard result if you guys want to prove it then you can find the range range of the projectile as a function of the uh, projected angle theta then you can differentiate it with respect to theta and equate it to zero and get the maximum condition like that if you solve it this is what you will obtain okay Okay, now uh, from this triangle, uh, this side length is B minus A. So sine alpha is going to be B minus A divided by C. So from here we get C equals VA squared, which is U square minus 2GA divided by G times 1 plus sine alpha, which is B minus A divided by C. And after solving this, we'll get a really nice result. That is U equals G times a plus b plus c under root where a is the length of the first plate b is the length of the second plate and c is the distance between the top of the plates now if you observe the question that is exactly what they have given us so a b length of first plate is two meters length of second plate is three meters and the separation between the tops is three meters so two three three so a plus b plus c comes out to be eight now the effective gravity in this media is g cos alpha right and alpha was 37 degrees so this is 4g by 5 so as you can see this becomes 8 so our final answer becomes 8 meters per second so i'd recommend you guys to you know uh, keep this result in mind for the minimum velocity case yep that was it for this video guys if you enjoyed the video do like share and subscribe and that's it thanks for watching